Miss Yautja here, and today I'm putting up a sales video because I'm going to sell one of my dolls. And the doll I'm selling is, as you probably guessed, Hamlet. Because let's go. Um, I like the doll, but it's not Hamlet. And I found another doll that I want that's not Hamlet either, but I'll talk about that in another video. Because I, I was hoping to sell this one, moving him along to a better home and to someone who enjoys him much more than I do, because he is a lovely doll. So let's get started! What I'm selling is this doll. It's uh, a Supia Guillaume head with the company face up that I purchased in 2014. I got him in uh, December 2014 and the body is a Granado uh, Labs body that I received in September 2015, so it's brand spanking new, so to speak. I will undress this lad and show you a bit more about him. So, this is him. Um, it's a lovely body. When I received it, it was missing these two silicone cubes here and I just wrote to Granado and they sent them to me so he has he's fully functional and he has an extra pair of those in case you need them um, he's a bit static the resin mat is excellent between the Supia head and the Granado body the head is a decent fit, size-wise, but the neck is slightly bigger, but it only shows in the back, so a wig would hide that. I have hot glue suede the neck joint, which has helped, but I will send along a few silicon kips like discs that you can put between and I think that will help as well. Um, the body is brand spanking new, no defects whatsoever, never been painted, nothing. It's beautiful body and it poses really well. I will Put some photos in this video so you can see a few of the poses and I've, I've not played much with this body but it's really easy to pose and it um, holds poses without any trouble whatsoever it's a really beautiful body he's even a bit too uh, too difficult to move, I don't know. He just, he likes to stay put in his positions, which is a good thing. And double jointed in the arms. And really easy to maneuver into a... Um, fully bent arm. He has gorgeous expressive hands that has n pr proper nails uh, detailed on them. There are some veins on the hands. The face I will put fix up as well because he has a small chip on his eyebrow. Um, but I I don't know how it happened because I just realized one day that he had it, but 
you can hide it with a wig or you can probably paint over it because it's right in the eyebrow. So if you just clean the area and put some blush, what's it called, not blush. You can just put some pastel in there and seal it and then I think it will be barely visible. Um, head cap, he has two magnets. Both the head and the body comes with a certificate of authenticity and I am willing to split. So if you're interested in just the head or just the body, let me know and I'm certain we can figure something out. But it's a really beautiful body and very easy to handle. And I think it will be a great addition to someone's collection. He is 68 centimeters tall, I think. It's the normal lad's body. The Labs Plus has a, a seam or a joint here, which this one doesn't, so it's not as mobile as the Plus, but I don't think it's necessary because he's plenty mobile anyway. And he can stand. No hands. Um, so yeah. If you have any questions or uh, if you're interested, just send me a email on this address down here and we'll figure something out because I really want this lad to get a good home and I love him and he's gorgeous and I love the head and everything but he's not, he's not Hamlet. So, he has to go. Anyway, uh, also, I am the first owner of both the head and the body. I'm sure I have forgotten plenty of stuff, but I will put as many details as I can down in the description area, so you can check there. And thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye!